Now, Gunplay has gotten into the Rick Ross DJ Envy beef, or I guess I should say, what correct thing to say is, Gunplay has started his own beef with DJ Envy based off of the Rick Ross Envy beef. You know, of course, Envy and Rick Ross was trading shots after Rick Ross said that DJ Envy's car show is nothing compared to Rick Ross's own car show. And in that, they start taking a couple little digs. Some people said it was a little personal. Uh, One of the digs that Envy took was when Gunplay had to put up a GoFundMe, or or his wife, he said. Gunplay said his wife put up a GoFundMe for their their child that was sick to raise money for surgery. And Envy was like, if Gunplay is your man to Rick Ross, this Envy was saying, if Gunplay is your man, then why don't you help your man out? Why Why is your man have to put up a GoFundMe? Now, in it, Envy never said what the GoFundMe was about or ne- mentioned Gunplay's kids his, or his child or his his wife or anything like that. It was it was more so about Rick Ross and talking about stunning all his money but not you know putting it towards your friends. It's what the point he was trying to make. But a lot of people, even at that time, were like, why would Envy bring up Gunplay? He shouldn't have brought another man into this. It's supposed to be between Envy and Rick Ross. Me, personally, I didn't see it that way. I, I saw it for what it was. It wasn't so much about gunplay. It could have been anybody, but it was more so about Rick Ross being cheap and probably a bad friend. Is what Envy wanted you to take from him. Um, however, you can't control how people take things, and gunplay himself ended up being upset about it. Now, Charlemagne arranged the conversation between gunplay and Envy over the phone. Little did Charlemagne and Envy know that gunplay was recording it, and he pretty much came out. Um, he came out hard early in the conversation talking about. Yo, Envy, why you talking about my, my kid being sick and my wife putting up to go fund me? You know I'll slap you for real. Envy, to his credit, said, hey, we can fight, but that wasn't my intent. And Envy, being a bigger person, I feel like, came and said, you know, I'm sorry, I apologize if that's what you took from that. That was not my intention. I never intended to, you know, insult your family. It was more, and, and Envy even broke it down a little bit more on the Breakfast Club. It was more so about pointing out how crappy of a friend rick ross seems to be now cheap he is but he brag about his money right um gunplay didn't like it and i guess it kind of stops within like three minutes of of the conversation and gunplay even said he needs a public apology now envy wasn't on the breakfast club on friday and monday was the holiday so if he wasn't there then i guess gunplay felt like if he was never gonna do a public apology so he put out the audio of their conversation where he you know Makes it look good for him where he checking Envy, even though I said, even though I heard, I hear a lot of people ignoring this, that Envy did say we can fight. So Envy wasn't afraid to go that go in that direction. I think Envy being a big person realized that, okay, yeah, that is his child. I'm going to just, I'm going to let that little insult go to the side and try to be cool. But again, Gunplay, I guess he felt like Envy didn't come out publicly and he felt Envy wasn't going to come out publicly, so he put it out there. Now this is, of course, blowing things up to a whole nother level. I feel like it's cloud chasing. I feel like if you really wanted the man to, you know, say something, you would have been talking to him in private. And maybe you would have had him talk to your wife and your child or whatever. And I'm sure Envy, being a good dude he is, he would have done that. Uh, to me, it looked like you want everybody else involved in it because you want that clout. And I'm not saying he don't care. I'm not saying Gunplay don't care about his daughter. I know he care about his daughter. I believe he care about his daughter. He's a father. And I, I'm, I'm sure he loves his family. I'm not dis- disputing that or, de- or denying that in no type of way. But I do think two things can be true. And you can love your kids, love your wife, love your family. I want the best for them. And you can also say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and post this because it's a cloud-worthy moment. Again, Envy was not on the Breakfast Club Friday or Monday. I guess they had this conversation Thursday. And so because of that, he never had a chance to address it publicly. But Envy, he says that he was. And Charlemagne is, you know, cooperating that. Now, you can say Charlemagne and Envy are boys. Charlemagne would cap for him. That, I, I can see that. And I can hear, I, I understand that argument if you don't believe that. But the fact is, is there's a bunch of different ways they could have gone about this before Gunplay put this public. This is not to excuse anything. Again, I never, uh, this is not to excuse anything that DJ Envy did in bringing up Gunplay's situ- family situation. I never thought it was a big deal because he didn't go into details about it. And also, I knew it wasn't, he wasn't making fun of Gunplay's financial situation or anything like that. It was more so talking about Rick Ross being a crappy friend and being cheap and and showing off all this expensive stuff but not even helping his man's family in a, in a bad situation uh, Gunplay has said that Rick Ross did donate money but I think that Envy's like well if you this big boss and you got all this why don't you pay for the whole thing 
Eh, I mean, there's an argument on both sides of that. I don't know. I'm not getting to that. You know, but like I said, I don't think that it was that big a deal. But I can understand if other people do. And some people are of that mindset of don't say anything 100% at all, bringing anybody else into the conversation. I get that. But like I said, me personally, I feel like this was a little bit clout chasey. And um, I hope that the relationship isn't severed. It could be. On the Breakfast Club, Envy was Envy was talking about how it is illegal in Florida to record somebody without their knowledge. I don't think that Envy is going to be pressing any charges. I heard a lot of people say, "Oh, Envy is alluding to he might be pressing charges." I don't think he was. I think I don't, I don't think he is. I don't think he's going to. I, I could be surprised, but I think that Envy more so was just letting people know, "Don't do this dumb stuff for a cloud or for whatever," because these can have real world consequences and you can get in trouble. For recording people in, in, in the state of Florida where Gunplay is from without their consent. And you got to know it's a state-by-state state, uh, case, but you don't want to play them games, at least without knowing, you know, if your state prosecutes for that. So, you know, this is still very early. Envy gave his response. We'll see if Gunplay got anything else to say or if they just chop it up over the phone. I understand Gunplay and I understand his wife who has some stuff to say to Envy too, being upset. But I think there's a way to go about it, and you should know a person heart. And if you cool with envy, and you know envy is a type of person envy is, sometimes you can just come to people, and everything can be straightened out. Everything got to be big macho, blasted out in front of the world. Uh, but again, you can't control how people react, and that's how gunplay chose to react. And I'm wondering, you know, what's next from here? It's the Wackest Podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack it's to me. It's the wackest podcast. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.